Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Samri. Welcome to the Lines, Lines Between, Between the, the Stars, Stars podcast. podcast. So, I have a fun topic to talk about today. Mm-hmm. And recently, Blizzard, is a, which is a video game company, released that they have a tool that was produced by, I was like, I think it was uh, King's something, King Productions, I believe. Let me just look at King, King's Diversity Space Tool. Mm-hmm. Which is a tool that they use where they put in a character, mm-hmm. put in like the data attributes, and they from there they give it a score, like a diversity score based off of like age, height, beauty, um, like race, mm-hmm. socioeconomical background, um, cognitive ability, physical ability, body type. Um, and culture, Facial features. culture, culture, and race. And so, this is a tool that they, they used to be like, oh, hey, like these are what they're doing. And a lot of it, too, like they announced this right as they were doing, what was it? What was it? Um, union busting. Oh, as okay. they were union busting, like mm. this uh, one, of their QA studios was trying to build up a union, mm. and they were in the middle of just trying their best to destroy this union. But because of that, they're like, "Oh, let's deflect. Mm. Let's deflect. Let's get some good PR." So they release like, "Hey, we've been using this tool, right?" Oh, okay. <clears throat> so that's another part of this story. That part of the story is that they only did. And a lot of like um, every time, and Blizzard's been known for every time they say, "Oh, hey, did you know that this character is actually gay?" <laughs> or this character is actually yeah, like they've done this. They've done this a lot actually. Oh. <laughs> this character is actually gay, right? As like something else is happening, <laughs> like oh hey, like uh, we were actually supporting China real hard when they were. Uh, when during the Hong Kong ra- like during like the Hong Kong issues, but hey, look, gay character. Oh. So they use diversity. It, it, it's been very common mm-hmm. in the past. Every time they bring up diversity, you, there's always something else going on in the background where they're like, oh, they're trying to hide. So Blizzard is like one of the biggest. Yeah, it's one of the biggest video game, game companies. They're yeah. associate. They're bought out by Activision, which is like they own like a b- bunch of gaming companies. Okay. But it's like kind of like they're one and the same, pretty much. Because okay. when you say Blizzard, you usually say Activision Blizzard. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But yeah, so this tool, so it put you put a character through it, and then it will uh, re- it will kind of gauge the character's diversity, mm-hmm. you know. And it's really interesting because like you know, um, it's based off of like the norm. Mm-hmm. Which is a white male, like white male cis, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So like a white male, like being male gets you a zero on gender identity. Mm-hmm. Like being female, I think gives you like two or something like that. Okay. Um, and How then, many points are there? Uh, it'd be, I think it's like out of 10, I believe. Okay. Yeah. But like, for example, we have a character that is, I think she is... Arabic. She is from Egypt. She's Egyptian, so she ranks a seven. Mm. And then uh, that's culture and race is Arab, uh, Arab, which is also a seven. You know, age is sixty, which is a seven. Yeah. Um, she only has one eye, so it's a four. Which, yeah, and which physical, is physical ability. That physical ability, stuff like that. Uh, gender identity: woman is five. Okay, five. And, so I yeah. think like being black was like a three. Oh, okay. So being a black man is less diverse than being a an Arab, but than being a white woman, for example. Oh. Because a woman, because if we just look at this, those two values, mm-hmm. black man, because man is zero, zero, but black is like two or three. Oh, but okay. a woman is five. A woman is five. Mm-hmm. But a white woman would be zero, zero. But the white woman would still be more diverse than a black mm. man, right? Oh, okay. And it's really and the artists have come out as like, dude, we didn't even use this tool making these characters. We have eyes, like the artists who actually make their characters. Mm-hmm. But this tool's more for like 
telling upper management how diverse a character is. Oh, okay. Because upper managements are soulless like robots that only look at numbers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it just fe this tool like came like when all this came out, a lot of people, even like non-black people, you know, even like people of color, people like of different ethnicities, mm -hmm. found this more creepy than like oh, okay. diverse, right? Oh, because they're being ranked. Yeah, it's like being ranked, right? Oh. And it's kind of like oh, mm -hmm. we are. You can tell it's like oh heck, we're and they're just. When you're making characters, it kind of makes it like, oh, we need to check check boxes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rather than, than like trying to make like a character. It's like, oh, we have to fill this diversity quota. Oh, okay. Right. Mm. And like, and and also this is like, oh, instead of actually hiring mm -hmm. like a diverse range of mm -hmm. people on our team, well, we got this diversity tool to tell us what we need to do with without oh. without that, you know. Okay, okay. So that's like the whole, that's like kind of like another like thing, like the, the way this views is like, it seems like a dystopian tool, like, you know, like, it kind of like takes diversity and mm -hmm. like, um, trying to make, and I can, t I can tell that this tool was made with good intentions, you know? I guess. Like yeah. the intention was like, oh, hey, we want like more diverse characters mm -hmm. in in games you know stuff like that mm -hmm. but in the way it's used it's like oh hey like um because in the past like we since blizzard is the one people are like comparing it their characters mm -hmm. there are characters who were like who were made and then like a year down the line hey this character's gay actually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know yeah every and, every and character it's usually turns out and it was gay. usually it was usually the people you would think they would have scored lower on this diversity profile mm. if they were just left alone but then if they're gay then they score higher on the diversity thing so oh. if it's like it makes those things of like did they do that did they say this character's gay to like fill up a mm. box to fill up a check mark or a bar mm. mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it becomes like very like disingenuous plus you're thinking like okay so um Oh, like, are we just gonna give this guy an eye patch so we can get up, up, up their like oh. physical thing, you know, okay. stuff like that? So it's it's very it's very interesting. You can tell like, yeah, they're definitely filling out check boxes. Like, yeah, it feels like they're filling out check boxes. Yeah, or like characters will be um, like refused to will be refused because it's like, oh, hey, like this doesn't meet our quota of mm. a certain thing, you know? Oh, okay. And it's, it's so weird because in video games, it, like, I will say that there is a diversity issue in video games. Like, mm -hmm. during, like, um, it's getting better now because games aren't linked to being only, like, a big company can yeah. make it. There yeah. are a lot of smaller projects. Mm -hmm. A lot of indie games that are, like, very diverse. Yeah. They're increasing the diversity. They're increasing, uh, like, different viewpoints and stuff mm -hmm. like that you know yeah yeah i like, think you're the one who sent me the link from like uh for the black woman on a skateboard mm -hmm. there's a video game yeah being made is yeah. that you i don't think it was me i think you oh, said okay. that to me but there's like <laughs> okay. also other games that actually okay. have a black you know like mm. black people there's actually a very popular game right now where like i think the main character is like a black man and the main villain is the black woman <laughs> and she like kills you over and over. She like kills you over like the main over, over again. Because it's called oh. it's called Death Loop. So the whole oh. thing is that they can't every time they die they come back. Okay. And she just keeps killing him over and over again. She's, what, what, what is what's the reason? I she... think there's like an island. They're like on some like weird crazy cycle island. I haven't played the game. That's interesting. Yeah, you're like. What if what if the the black manosphere <laughs> gets a hold of this video? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but um, it, but that's like also like you know it's cool seeing like a black woman as like the villain, right? Mm, okay. You know. Interesting. Like you've mentioned to me that you want to see more black women villains too, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, like the art, you know, and in the I would say like during the twenty tens, mm -hmm. the twenty tens or even the two thousands, there was a stereotypical thing of like video games with bald middle-aged white military man as the main character 
Because that was the demographic that was buying it. Yeah, or like, you know, white people, you know, like white people. Or like white boys and men. Yeah, and you know, like, there's a sense of like, in some games, like, there's even the sense of、um, self, like, self, insert, self inserting,、mm -hmm. like, oh, I am this character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Personally, I have not gotten that because I am Asian. Okay. You know? And I tend to just play anime games, and I'm like, I'm not anime. I don't, I'm not like this character. But、okay. I, have, I have met people, like,、uh, this was mostly my white friends actually growing up, where, like, I, because for me, like, I can play as a female character、mm -hmm. because I like playing as a, like, the character, right?、Mm -hmm. I'm not, like, putting myself into that. I had, I remember having, like, a white friend who was like, I can't play as a girl. I'm like, why? He's like, oh, because I can't, like, Put myself in there, you know, in that、mm. thing. I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. But his demographic was white man,、mm. which all these games were like, oh, the main character is a white guy. That's true. So it's easier to project、mm. onto, onto them. Okay. So you're saying. And that's saying, also why,、mm -hmm. like, some game, like GTA got popular with like, a lot of black people because you can、oh, play、okay. as a black guy. Yeah, yeah. Which was like a first for a, first for a while. Oh, okay. You know, I was yeah, like, oh,、yeah. I can play as a black guy. Yeah, my brother was obsessed yeah, with it. Yeah, I, I hated it. I'm like,、yeah. ah, you shouldn't play this. But so, what, what I was going to say was because you didn't have Asian male.、Um, I mean, I did. I or did, like, not as much, like, not as much as, as、uh, your white boy friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're, you're my job, friend. Good job. Good job, <laughs> <laughs> good job babe. <laughs> your, your male friends、yeah. who happen to be white,、mm -hmm. they had a lot of different choices、yeah. to project into.、Mm -hmm. You're saying because you didn't have as many characters you can project into,、yeah. you were like easily able to、uh, play female. Yeah. Characters. Yeah. So that's, that's what you're saying. Because I don't, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I don't self insert into a character, right?、Like, this、mm -hmm. character is not me. This character is the character, right? So you've you learned at a young age to disassociate, or like, I mean, not... I also play、mm -hmm. games where I'm like, I'm playing as a monkey. I'm playing as a monkey swinging around collecting bananas, too, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, it, it, you know, as a kid. But yeah, it was just kind of interesting. It was just kind of、yeah. interesting because I was like, hey, I know you played. I know you played other games where you don't self insert into it. I think it's、mm. like also when like the character is a, a human. Oh, too, okay. You know? okay. okay. But yeah, like for me, it's like it didn't really, ma it didn't really matter to me.、Mm -hmm. But there's also that whole thing.、Um, but yeah, like nowadays, there's more diversity. There's like more diversity、mm -hmm. too. Like I remember、um, some, certain games. I remember certain games、uh, being like, oh, hey, you can play as. A white guy or a black guy, but like not an Asian. Oh,、yeah. okay.、Um, oh, really? Yeah. And it's actually, too, like another thing, too, is really funny is like seeing like in games whether or not you can make a black person, but making sure to see can you have the black person? Do you have like the black haircuts? Haircut, yeah. Yeah. Hair GTA's、stuff. got good at that.、Mm -hmm. um, there's also the NBA games. Which has like、oh. a bazillion hair options、oh, really? <laughs> for black, for black、yeah. people. And then there's like、um, the funniest ones are, Jap、uh, are Japanese games.、Oh. Where they have, they're able, you can make a black character, but there are no black haircuts. So they're all like, they all have, they're all black people with like anime hair.、Oh. It's hilarious. It's, <laughs> it's, well, it's funny, but the, I have seen it, them getting better. Oh, okay. Slowly, slowly but surely. But, like, it's funny when you go to a game, you're like, yo, this,、uh, they have black, like, black skin tone,、mm. but not the hair. Like, How about the facial、hairs. features? Facial features? Yeah, some, it depends. Because a lot of facial features are based off of, like, a number value, based off, of, like, things. So you can just make the facial features. Based off of just like shape, like turning the shape of like this part of the nose, this part of the nose,、uh, the nostril part, the bridge, you know?、Hmm. Lip size, upper lip size, lower lip size. Oh, okay. So you can, there are a lot of like, a lot of games nowadays have like a lot of customization options to like、mm -hmm. change, like 
even like the space in between eyes mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff. So you won't have like a face that's like, oh, this is the black face. This is the white mm. person face. You can just have adjust the features as you need. Okay. <laughs> no, but hair is like the one that like you 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 check because mm -hmm. it's like, oh hey, like usually sometimes there's the afro, you know. Okay. There's the afro. Because it's just round, right? Because it's round, yeah. Um, but yeah, like nowadays you're seeing more cornrows. I think um, I showed you Animal Crossing before, right? Mm -hmm. And how like, and like actually, yeah, like they have multiple black women hairstyle, like black women hairstyles, for example, mm -hmm. and black male hairstyles. Yeah. I remember you were excited one time. Yeah, I was like, hey, when they look. released more black women hairstyles. Yeah, I was like, hey, look, check it out. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like from a Japanese company. Oh, that's okay. actually very impressive to me because you they're <laughs> like because you don't see that because in a japanese company you mostly just see japanese people working in a japanese company at least on the japan japan side of things mm -hmm. right and they they mm -hmm. don't normally come across black people yeah. so they don't know what we look like yeah they they don't talk if they don't regularly talk to them like i didn't even know like all the troubles about black hair until like i was mm. talking to you you know yeah yeah you know i don't understand i didn't understand like the kink you know like mm -hmm. kinky black hair mm -hmm. right yeah and it's actually these days where black women are seen in movies and shows wearing Wait. like head yeah. wraps yeah like even in me. star trek <laughs> yeah 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 you know like uh is it uhura uhura yeah. yeah she was wearing head her head uh, wrap yeah and then yeah because like it ended up being like she was sleeping and then uh -huh. like her roommates are fighting yeah like... and then she's like oh. yeah. but anyways like she was wearing her head wrap yeah. and then like <laughs> uh i mean back in the day like if you want to see a black woman on tv she had like straight hair you know back mm -hmm, in the old mm -hmm. days back in the old days right oh i mean even now like yeah even now, there's like yeah. a lot of like straight hair black women in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I watch uh, Kev on stage. Um, Here's the thing, mm -hmm. and uh, Angel, which is who's a black woman mm -hmm. actress slash actor. I don't know what the term yeah. is, but um, she talked about how in order to get roles in mm -hmm. Hollywood, she needs to wear a weave. Yeah, like it's not an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's also, um, like, on um, terms of just, like, diversity, too, too, there's also, like, you know, like, depiction, like, increased depictions of LGBTQ, you know? So how would they do that? In a game? Mm-hmm. Well, they just say, like, this character is LGBTQ. Like, they just say it? They say it, they make a character design, like, give treats, maybe they have a writer, their backstory, how it affects their backstory. Mm. Um, if they're in a gay relationship, maybe they'll, there's like a romance. There's a romance section. Oh, there's oh like, really? There's different like. Yeah. You can read about more of their story. I mean, sometimes I mean not even just read. Like it's, sometimes it's like actively happening on the screen. Cause like a story is being told in the game. Okay. You know, I think that's foreign to you. It is. Yes. That's very foreign to you. <laughs> Because like uh, people who might be playing games who are more familiar with games, but I think my wife's crazy at this point. <laughs> but games are actually a storytelling medium, mm -hmm. right? Honestly, like you, like it's more intense too because it's like a movie mm -hmm. is like only two hours long. A game mm -hmm. could be like forty hours long. Okay, so there's more mm -hmm. um, storyline yeah. or like stories yeah. being you told can, in a game. Heck, you can even be like there are games where it's like you're a character and there are characters that you can choose to romance oh really yeah and it affects the outcome of the game um it's like sometimes the ending too like there's a specific there'll be like a specific ending like sometimes like oh this character went and how like lived a happy life with this character or these two characters went on adventures in the end together but it's part of like the story you know part of the story and part of like characters hmm. like building up you know Oh, okay. And like games can have like multiple endings. Yeah, yeah. You know, like because you're doing something mm -hmm. and you can make choices in the game and such, maybe like a game can have two or three different endings sometimes. Because um, you started me off on this like mystery game, yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you turn the page and then something. Yeah. Like there's like. 
It's not a three D. Yeah. It's a two D. Yeah, and it's more of like a novel. Like mm -hmm. it's more of like a novel based sort of game. I don't but know like, when I stopped, but you usually like I <laughs> I do it for the first time, and you you're like ah oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... But like yeah, that's like a whole thing. That's a whole sort of thing that video games can do mm. is storytelling. You know. That's why I play a lot of video games because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I like reading stories, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I feel like a bit more. It's more engaging too than just watching a movie. Yeah, because you're actively Sam doing something. Reads a lot of books. Yeah, and I read a lot of books too. Yeah. So like you're actively doing something. So yeah, that's why like the you have an LGBT. That's why it's and that's why it's like you, the same methods of like movies. How people like, oh, we want representation in movies. Mm -hmm. We want representation in video games mm. because there are a lot of times there's story based mediums. Okay. So people want and you know like I felt like I never self inserted into the character. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of black people who are like, oh, I don't self insert into the character, mm -hmm. but they'd like to. Okay. They. They want to be given the choice. They'd like to, yeah, they'd like to be given a choice. The same thing with, like, someone who is gay. Mm -hmm. They'd like to be playing as a gay character. Oh, okay, okay. You know, like, if they're playing, if they're gay, you're playing, like, oh, like, I, mm. you only have female romances. There's no yeah. guy romances. Oh, okay. You know, I can't play my character as gay. Mm -hmm. Or a lesbian or something mm -hmm. like that. And there's also even more, like, trans representations. There's this game that I actually really liked. It's like a dating, it's like a dating... Like, there's a genre called dating sims. The whole point is, like, you read through the thing and you make choices to, like, woo, like, a girl. Mm -hmm. you know, it's mostly geared towards guys. There's actually a lot... There's actually versions where it's, like, a, you're a girl and you try to woo a guy. Okay. Um, this one was called uh, Dad Dating Simulator. Um, where you played as... It, like, pretty much you move into a cul-de-sac with your daughter... <laughs> and there's a bunch of hot got, hot dads <laughs> in the cul-de-sac and you date them but the interesting thing that in the story that starts off with mm -hmm. was that you choose you, you make the character and you choose whether or not they were previously married to a man or a woman mm -hmm. if your daughter is biologically your daughter or not biologically your daughter oh, okay and whether or not your character was formally like whether or not you or your partner had birthed the child. Previously, other than the daughter? No, the, do the daughter. Oh, okay. Because it, you can also play it off as, oh, your character transitioned. Mm -hmm. and, oh, okay. Like, went through a tr transition after birth. Mm. So it was a very much thing. like, wow, you can make a really diverse character, you know. Mm -hmm. like, immediately with that, you know. Mm -hmm. It was just like, wow, this is the most diverse game you can play as. Because you play as, like, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, like, um, I mean, you always had to play as a guy because the idea is that, you know, it's like oh, it's guy, guy dating guy. Single dad, Single right? dad, yeah. Because you, are, you too are a dad. Oh, okay. You know. But you could play as, like, you know, like, um, at, you could play as... You know, male transition, you know, or, or female. female transition mm -hmm. to male. You can play as a gay guy. Mm -hmm. You can play as a normal, like a cis, cis male as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and then like, you know, the daughter was, o the daughter is actually always a, um, she's always kind of like a mixed black girl. Oh, okay. You know? So mm -hmm. like, it's like, oh, but she's, you know, like, you're like, oh, like she was adopted. Oh, okay. You know? I thought she was white. No, she's when like. When I saw her. No, no. She she looks like she can pass then. Uh, let me let me show. Do you know you. what it means to pass? Yeah, I know what it means to to pass. See, these are some of the things that you, as a non-black man, are going to learn when you're uh, partnered with a black woman. Yeah. <laughs> about you learn about passing. That's her. Oh, okay, so she's mixed. I thought she was just like really tanned. Yeah, I, I just consider her mix. Oh, okay. Yeah, she works as mixed. Oh, okay. I was I was like looking, I was like, dang, that would be hard <laughs> if we had a doctor. She's probably like that. True. You know? Tan. Tan, kind of more like, you know, mix between her skin tones. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder what <clears throat> a child. I mean, like, look, I it, like I'm I'm very pasty, but like, if if given you the chance, can. I tan real easily, you know. Yeah. 
So it's just like it is. Like and the fun. hair will be like between the two most extreme hair types. Yeah, yeah. So that's gonna be interesting. Will they just because the hair? Asian hair is super straight and round. Mm-hmm. Like the the shaft when you yeah. cut it across, uh-huh. it's round. Yeah. Versus black hair is like curly and. Curly and the when you cut it across, it's mm-hmm. um, what does it look like? It's when you like crush uh, yeah. a straw. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I think you. Like. I think you've actually gotten splinters on my hair. Oh yeah, I always get splinters when I cut my yeah. hair. Yeah. Like in my <laughs> shoes, and yeah. I'm like, oh snap! <laughs> and like, I, I've had multiple splinters in my hand. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> Your beard is very prickly as well. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a really fun... It's, so, like, there, there's there been, like, things out there. People mm-hmm. in coming out being mm-hmm. like, oh, hey, mm. we want more diversity. Oh, okay, right? so do, does it help... Uh, people in accepting their sexuality or identities? Yeah, 100%. Okay. You know? Like, mm-hmm. 100%. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, because games uh, as a whole have always been kind of like an escape. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Escape from reality. Mm-hmm. And, like, also, yeah, like, self, people who, and, like, I'm not, I'm not downplaying people who self-insert themselves mm-hmm. into a character. That's a really cool thing to do. Like, oh, I relate enough to this character where I feel like... Because you're also controlling the character, too. Yeah. So you're like, oh, that's me, you know? That's true, yeah. Yeah, and really, like, it's like, oh, if you're not born white male, you get a lot less, like, mm-hmm. versions of that, of being mm-hmm. able to self-insert yourself mm-hmm, into mm-hmm. a character, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's, like, less of that escape. Yeah. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. like, being, that's actually, it's very interesting, too. Mm-hmm. And it's actually, like, interesting, because there actually have been other games that are actually still, like, quite diverse, and they never needed a tool. It's just, like, uh, Street Fighter, for example, is a game, it's like a oh, fighting okay. game. They've been always known for having very diverse, because every character is mm-hmm. kind of, like, most, a lot of times from a different part of the world. Yeah, the main character is Japanese, he's from Japan. There's a guy from, there's a couple, there's like a character from America, there's a character from China, character from, like, they had like black characters really early on too, like, hmm. they had like character from uh, Brazil, mm-hmm. and the Brazilian characters, they had the Jamaican character, hmm. and Native American character. Interesting. And then like, fighting games are interesting because they're based off of um, martial arts styles. Mm-hmm. And whenever they do a new character, they're like, mm. let's base it off of the martial arts. So what was the... I mean, I know the Brazilian is Capoeira. What's the Jamaican? Uh, let's see. The Jamaican was actually... Um, let's see. He kind of had his own fighting style. It's kind of... I think the Jamaican actually had... Um, let's see, I don't remember. I mean, I'd have to look it up. I'd have to look it up. Mm. But he had his own fighting style. He had a different fighting style. Interesting. Um, Tekken had a thing to... Tekken has a thing too where it's like they have characters all over the world. And um, mm. they do it based off like martial arts style, mm-hmm. and then they try to figure out what to do from there. Like, oh, if they're doing Muay Thai, they're going to be from Thailand. They're probably mm-hmm. going to be in Thailand because that's where it originated from. They'll do, okay. like, they'll do uh, things like, oh, let's do where they originated from. But they've been doing like really, like Tekken's been doing some really wild ones where like there's a guy who does Wing Chun. Which is like, you know, the guy, you know, the super fast punches, like, do, 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 oh, okay. you know, and like a lot of kung fu. But they made the guy who did Wung Chun a black guy. Mm. And he's like blind, he has like a pit bull, he has like a pit bull with him, you know. Mm. And he's like really cool looking. There is, um, there was like, they introduced like this new karate character, karate character in Poland, a karate character in the game. And she was Polish. Mm. She was like the Polish president or something like that, which was really oh. funny. Huh. <laughs> And it's a Polish woman, too. Okay. She was a woman doing it, too. So they do things based off of, like, okay, what well, is a very interesting character? Mm. But fighting games tend to be kind of like a thing because there's a lot of different fighting styles you can pull from. Mm-hmm. That's, like, from all over the world. Yeah. And it's actually really interesting because fighting games, um, the fighting game community, people play fighting games. Mm-hmm. 
it's a lot more diverse than like mm. other um, competitive yeah. games. Yeah. Because I think I've showed it to you. Because of the machines, right? Yeah, yeah, like the arcade, like yeah. the arcades, pretty mm -hmm. much. Because a lot of these games were played at arcades, mm -hmm. and you just need quarters. Yeah. Like, you just need quarters, and so it's easy for anyone to do it. So yeah, like it's cool when you see the fighting game community being like really diverse. And like you even had like, oh hey, guess what? Iran has like a or I think it was, it was Pakistan. Pakistan, yeah. You had like Pakistan has like this really diver this really like cool like Tekken community, right? Mm -hmm. Or even like, hey, we have like players from Mexico. Mm. You know? Yeah, I, I don't know if if there are I don't ever remember in Ethiopia, like mm -hmm. having arcades. Yeah, I think like I know that there are like um, foundations that are trying to like introduce like gaming to Africa to like African like cities. Like I remember watching a streamer and he was doing a thing where he was um, f r r raising money for like this mm -hmm. foundation that bought like computers for kit for kids mm -hmm. oh, okay. in like schools and stuff like that mm -hmm. and like public centers so that you know that they can play games too. Oh, okay yeah yeah it, it's interesting like yeah. how in different parts of the world mm -hmm. at least i mean i guess even now like yeah the sorts of access is different because yeah. now the new thing is altern alternate reality virtual yeah, reality, virtual reality, mixed reality. VR. that's those are weird like that's weird and also that takes a lot of money to do you yeah. need to get a headset, you need to get like a headset. I mean, I think if and there's it, more people who get into it, then mm -hmm. it'll get cheaper and yeah. cheaper. I mean, like, also, like, well, we can talk about metaverse, like, the metaverse if we want, like, don't sure. want to, because you don't know much about, like, this, the things. And, what do like, you mean? I have a, it's not safe? Um, no, it's just like the current iterations is very, like, weird, bare bones, and you can tell, like, they're just trying to get money off of it. Because and versus like the alternatives which already exists, which are better and cheaper. The alternative like, metaverse? Yeah, or? VR world or VR chat. Oh. There's a there's a game called VR Chat. And here's the thing, Metaverse, did you know that in Metaverse when your avatar doesn't have legs? Like metaverse meaning Facebook. Yeah, the Facebook thing. Oh really? The Facebook okay. thing. That's people I are apparently putting haven't. people are putting thousands like millions of dollars into buying virtual land. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, which is the dumbest thing ever ever, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But like apparently there is like they don't have legs. Oh, okay. And I don't know the reasons why. But in VR in VR chat you can have legs. You can be an <laughs> you can be an anime girl. Like like because in VR chat you can actually have like any sort of model. Okay. You want. So you have like Kermit the Frog talking to like an anime girl or something like that. They're just having like a discussion or something like that. I should look more into Metaverse <clears throat> then. Yeah, and like you can have like any model in VR chat though. It's it's it is very like VR chat's weird, <laughs> but I think VR chat is a better better Metaverse. Oh. Because like my I mean, Metaverse doesn't really have anything. It's, like they have like bare bones like games. On Metaverse, just starting, but like right? VR Chat has like a whole suite of like games that you don't even need to pay for. Oh. People just like give it, send it out for free. Like, hey, yeah, just do it. Mm. Yeah, hey, just do this. You can have like movie watching nights on on VR Chat. Oh, okay. People do like comedy shows and like concerts mm. in VR Chat. Mm. And like, you don't have to pay for land. You just need server space. You know, like, or like, you know, like, like a lot of these things are just accessible. Like people's like, hey, you want to just go to this room here? And like, that's what Metaverse wants to be. Oh, okay. You know, but except you Metaverse, up, yeah. except Met Metaverse wants you to pay, wants you to pay for it. You know, uh... like they want you to like, oh, like join our superior quality thing. Mm -hmm. But like their quality is much worse than VR chat oh, okay. and less freedom than VR chat too. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to like take over VR chat, you know, buy them out. Yeah, buy them out. Oh, that they would, can that afford would, it. That would be nightmarish. But then like VR chat, like they like we've already seen what happens when that does. They just bleed, bleed like re like the 
user base too, you know? Oh, they leave? They leave. Okay. Like if it's not cheap, then they mm-hmm. leave because already mm-hmm. like they're already making an investment with like the VR with like mm-hmm. the VR sets. And they don't want to pay mm-hmm. more money. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, like metaverse is like weird because like everyone has no legs. There's no legs. Apparently mm-hmm. and I mean VR chat has a lot of weird things going on. There's people who do lap dances on VR apparently. <laughs> There's people who make money on VR chat just oh. by like side gigs and stuff, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Through yeah. lap dances? Yeah, and we're actually selling models too. People oh, okay. like make three D models for people. Like I know mm. I know one percent that there are commissions for like VR models. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> of like, that hey makes sense. Yeah, let me make you a VR model. Mm. And then, you know, stuff like that. I forgot the name of the movie. Um, where like this guy goes into the VR, he plays these racing games and they find a key. Oh yeah, Ready Player One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very. M- I can talk a lot about Ready Player One. I won't go on a tirade on this podcast episode. So you're not a fan. I'm not a fan of Ready Player One. I think Ready Player One is very like a misogynist, like oh really misogynistic story. There, it's kind of like. Uh. If you look past all the video game references and like in the book, it was more eighties references, mm-hmm. um, and then in the store in the movie, it's more like general video game references. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you just like look past that, you get a really kind of like really bland story. Okay. That like really like it's it feel I call it. It's a masturbation book. What? You you read it because you want to like, like you know like guys downtrodden, but then like builds himself up and like gets the girl gets the girl you know like, yeah becomes super rich you know becomes super rich, oh. and then like she ends very, up being good looking. She ends up being good looking in the book. She's <laughs> supposed to have a horrible scar. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, you can't even tell it's... I mean, this is... Hollywood's just bad at depicting people with scars. Mm. They're, like... She's supposed to have, like, a very noticeable scar. Oh, okay. You know? And, like, in the movies, like, you don't even notice there's anything there. Yeah, I... Was... Yeah, I yeah. Know. Okay. She's good looking, you know. It's it's yeah, like yeah. it's it's a good looking scar. It's like oh come on, come on. Oh, good looking scar. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that doesn't detract from their beauty, you know. Oh okay, okay. <laughs> but even then, like uh, even then, like yeah, I just don't like. I really don't like Ready Player One. I like maybe like the first half. Like I read the book. Okay, okay. I read the book. I like the first like quarter of the book. Mm-hmm. Maybe even first half of the book. But then after that, it's just like oh, I'm just sick. The time. book wasn't good. I don't like the book. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, a lot of people like the book. Mm. I'm going to tell you, a lot of people like the book. I don't think it's a very good book. <laughs> you know, I don't like it very much. Oh, okay. And, like, it's just kind of like, because I've read, I've read a lot of stories like that. You know, I've read a lot of stories like that. It's like, it doesn't do anything different. But it's like the thing mm. that a lot of people, it's their first, like, story like that. Oh, okay, okay. You know, that indulgent fantasy. Of a indulgent fantasy, you know. Oh, it's for boys or men who fantasize about having a girlfriend. Having a girlfriend, saving the day, stuff like that. Oh yeah, a, a Books... girlfriend who's also into video gaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. There's a um, book, and here's the thing: self-indulgent books aren't limited to guys. Of course. There's a lot of romance novels. Oh, yeah. You know all those schlocky romance novels with, like, shirtless abs oh, yeah. on, like, on the, on the cover? Oh, that's yeah. the, that's the theme, that's the, that's the woman equivalent. Oh, okay. okay. That's the woman equivalent to Ready Player One. Oh, okay. Okay? They're on the same tier. So, like, you wouldn't necessarily look at those novels and think they're good books. They're, like, you know, mm-hmm. you can tell that, like, oh, these are entertaining books. But you yeah, wouldn't necessarily yeah, yeah. think of them as peak like yeah. liter- literature. I mean, you know? it's it's interesting because there's an increasing number of black women uh, romance novel writers mm-hmm. yeah. who write about like interracial relationships. Yeah. So they're catering That's, they're to they're catering the, to the yeah. indulgent things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like there's more um, 
black women are more mm. willing or open to interracial relationships now mm. more than before yeah. so there's a market for okay. it like look okay trashy novels are for everyone mm -hmm. but remember we can have different flavors of trash <laughs> yeah yeah you know <laughs> yeah yeah we can have different flavors of trash it's like, uh, what is it? Great. Look, trash can't just, white people can't have a monopoly on trash. Mm -hmm. We need, we need Asian trash. No, trash. Yeah, novels. that's we true. We need black people trash novels. We need Latin, Latino yeah. like, uh, trash, trashy novels, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 look, the like, look, soap, look at me uh, like uh, Mexican soap operas. Those mm -hmm. are the trashiest things in the world. But yeah. you know what? Hey, all, all cultures. Mm -hmm. gravitate towards its trash that's true not only like literature and stuff like that but we need to embrace trash as well so that like it will allow for more creativity yeah i feel because mm -hmm. if people are okay with being able to like uh put out mm -hmm. quote-unquote trash works yeah. then uh, like then other like more people will feel free to yeah. <clears throat> put out their work mm -hmm. and it might be the best yeah. I would I would actually here's the reason why I like another like another example of to describe why I don't really think Ray Player One is that great it's like someone who is like an avid reader of trashy like romance novels and they read Twilight and Twilight to them is like every other ro trashy romance novel that they've read. Mm -hmm. But to a lot of other people, it's the first trashy mm -hmm. romance novel that they read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. For a lot of people, Twilight was their first trashy romance novel. <laughs> because that target that targeted preteens who were like haven't read that many trash at that point have not read that many trashy romance novels. And they've read their first trashy romance novel. Mm -hmm. Ready Player One is the trashy it's it's like the equivalent for it's like the guy mainstream trashy, it's the guy the mm. poor boys trashy romance novel so this yeah if that makes sense is that yeah 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 does that kind of help you mm -hmm. understand my viewpoint on it yeah yeah which means to say i've read a lot of trash <laughs> <laughs> like that means that i have read a lot of the guy equivalent of trashy romance novels. Do you still have those novels? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> They're on my bookshelf. <laughs> so this. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks for listening. Yeah. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit hey. the bell notification for more uh, content. You beat me to the shilling. <laughs> what am I going to do am with that? Am I my better life? now? Yeah, you are better. <laughs> Cool. All right, see you later, everyone. Bye. Bye.